We're here at Davos with Ken Fraser, who's the CEO of Merck. Ken, first of all, this is your second time here, correct? Yes. Why do you come to Davos? Well, first of all, it's one of the leading uh, groups of thinkers globally, and it gives an opportunity for one to take a panoramic view of economic, social, political issues, technological issues that are affecting people all over the world. You can see a lot of people in a few days. Absolutely. It's very efficient in terms of the ability to meet key customers and key policymakers. Um, let's talk about the U.S. economy because obviously this is an economic forum. Uh, and there seems to be, compared to last year, uh, more optimism generally about the state of things in the world. Um, how do you see the state of the U.S. economy at this point? I think the U.S. economy is poised to take off. I think it's been through some tough times. I think it's the strongest economy in the world. I think the big challenge for us is to come up with long-term solutions to the debt and deficit situation that will create greater certainty for people to make investments. Right, and obviously that decision is postponed again on Wednesday of this week. Um, does it concern you that we don't, we're just not really getting our arms around this issue? If this issue? Certainly, I think as a country. We know that we can't continuously spend more than we take in. It's just that simple. And I think that um, our political situation is one in which, in the short term, sometimes we struggle to come to a solution that I think every American knows that we have to, which is that at some level we've got to think about revenues, we've got to think about spending, and come up with a smart, balanced set of solutions. Um, you're, you run a pharmaceutical company. The flu, obviously, has been on the front page for the past few weeks. Um, how big a concern do you think it is? Well, I don't think that the flu this year, per se, is a huge concern, although obviously making sure that people are vaccinated for it is important. I think what it is is a reminder uh, for all of us that we still have these bugs out there that are in you know, combat with mankind, and so we have to think about communicable diseases, and that's why vaccines and antibiotics are important, and why it's important to keep innovating, to stay ahead of that eternal battle. Right. Healthcare costs a big concern, obviously one of the biggest budgetary concerns out there. Um, what, as, as you look at this, what's the biggest obstacle to bringing down healthcare costs at this point? Well, there are a number of them, but I would say one that I would pick out is there are a lot of behavioral things that drive healthcare. If you look at just two factors, inactivity and obesity, they drive a significant amount of U.S. health care costs. I saw some statistics recently that suggested that one in three Americans is chronically obese. So from my perspective, I would say that one of the big factors is training people to understand how they have control over their own wellness. Right. And you were talking as we sat down that, that your concern is with health care budgets declining doing research, doing innovation is going to become more challenging. I think that's a huge issue. You know, in the pharmaceutical industry, we put a significant amount of capital at risk for a very long time. The average drug takes 15 years from discovery to the time that you get it approved by the FDA, and it right. costs $1.2 billion. We have to ensure that we understand that when we are successful with diseases like cancer and Alzheimer's, that there will be a market that will reward innovation 20, 30, 40 years from now. Because you've got to make that sizable upfront investment. That's correct. Right. All right. Ken Frazier, CEO of Merck, thanks so much for talking with us here at Davos. It was my pleasure. Thanks. Thank you so much.